As promised, here's a video on me digging deeper into the productivity side of the Quest Pro. In this video you will see footage of me using Workrooms, which is um, Meta's own um, platform for uh, collaboration and working and having your own little office and, and having all that tied into one place. The one area that I'm looking at is having like a virtual office, having your own sort of place where, the, where you would work and have screens. I've got a big screen as it is, but just the idea of being somewhere else away from this to being oddly over there, but far more comfortable and more relaxed, but still being able to be as productive as I would be if I was sat here. Now, as you will see from the footage, there were various things that sort of worked really well. Um, the clarity, and this is where the Quest Pro really shines with those lenses and the, um, the higher quality uh, uh, panels that it's using and the, and the contrast and the colors and everything, it really makes it an awful lot easier to read text and to see uh, very very clearly um, so much so that I, I don't need one of the key advantages for me and I, I, and I may not be alone in this is that I'm able to not have to wear glasses because everything is sort of presented to me really quite closely anyway um, so I don't have to wear glasses oddly when I'm working using the Quest Pro in workrooms. I, I found the user interface for workrooms was actually really very good. Um, there's another platform called, I think it's called Immersion, which I tried first on the Quest Pro where you can have, it's, it's a very similar deal and I say similar in terms of I think what they were aiming for it. Um, in terms of having extra screens and um, being able to um, communicate and collaborate with people but it's it's a very clumsy awkward platform and I did try that first before I tried workrooms and so much so that I bought the the addition of $10 I think it was so you could have extra screens and it just didn't work out the screens were fuzzy it was awkward to see just not very good at all so workrooms really is quite a good quality stable platform um, whether people outside of VR um, would use it there is the ability for people to sort of just appear on a webcam and collaborate that way I, I, I can't really see much of that happening I think those that do that would rather work on zoom uh, and there are a lot of tools within zoom that are similar to say working in workrooms the only difference is is that it's more sort of hands on -y. But that only really works if other people in the same environment as you also have a Quest Pro and are as hands-on-y. And it's something that does require that. I can see where that would that would have its advantages in sort of design, architecture and so on. So it does have a place. There are some bugs, however. Um, I bought this um, keyboard. It's the, um, the Logitech uh mx keys and i've also got the mouse i've had for a while and i bought this namely because i wanted a keyboard that the um quest pro would recognize because it has a list of keyboards that it can see and what it does it sees it sort of basically creates this keyboard in virtual reality so when you're typing you're typing and can coordinate your fingers to the right keys. Thankfully I can touch type, but even though I can touch type, you still need to sort of gauge where your fingers are on the keys. And one of the things I found was that the keys or the, the alignment of the keyboard as to where it as to where the um the say augmented reality or virtual reality version of it was didn't align for instance there's a place in this video you'll see where I'm 
it says that I'm, I'm, I'm sort of pressing the S key, whereas in fact it's the D key or it thinks I'm pressing the D key when it's the S key. So it's kind of off alignment. And so when you're using that to gauge where you should be, it's kind of off a little bit. You do get this strange sort of um, odd um, sort of poking through into reality thing with your hands where you see your hands appear on your own keyboard or your fingers appear on the keys on your own keyboard and then you can see this slight mismatch. It doesn't happen all the time but it happens enough that it becomes a pain. The other thing that happens quite frequently is that for whatever reason the uh, Quest Pro will then say it can't see your keyboard and then it will just say trying to find or trying to track your keyboard and then you lose the keyboard altogether so you could be working on something and then all of a sudden your keyboard would disappear as I said th thankfully I can touch type but I've got I'm, I, this is a new keyboard for me and I'm not used to it I'm used to this keyboard which is a mechanical keyboard I'm used to that one and um, the Quest Pro doesn't see this in virtual reality it would be good I think if uh, the Quest Pro on workrooms could have just a generic sort of keyboard because the layout of most keyboards are very similar so it would it would enable maybe even a, be a, the ability to design your own keyboard layout to the keyboard that you've got rather than just having say manufacturer keyboards um, so it sort of represents it as it actually looks which really isn't important what's really important is the keys that you're pressing are the right keys which I found um, really wasn't happening a lot of the time I would imagine that this would come uh, eventually and be fixed with a um, an update I'm sure there's plenty of updates on the way the other thing I found when using workrooms and then having the keyboard tracked um, is that when I was then using hand gestures to to do all the sort of swipey pinchy zoomy stuff um, they got very choppy because I think the, the the Quest Pro was also trying to track my keyboard as well as monitor the usage of, of where my hands were. Um, that wasn't the case when I used the controllers but you can certainly see in the video um, which has been playing uh, which you will see playing as I'm sort of talking through this um, sort of get quite choppy and that, that can that got very old very quickly um, so uh, yeah overall I, I think I will stick with um, using the Quest Pro sort of not all the time clearly because you know you end up with this weird mark on your forehead and when you've just got a ridiculously receding hairline like mine you end up with like looks like you've got a big red bandana of skin across your face and it's also important to note that I'm not directly connected to the computer via a cable or anything it's all done through my network so I could effectively be anywhere around my house and um, I've got a category A uh, category A category 6 um, network um, throughout throughout the house and, and through into the garden as well so it should it should be possible so I'm going to try it in various locations to see you know whether that connectivity is still strong I didn't notice much if any latency which is incredible really considering it's all done through the network so those are my initial thoughts on um, workrooms I think it's quite good I'm surprised at how much I liked it uh, you do connect directly to your lap uh, to your Mac or PC um, I'm going to try it on my PC as well see if that experience is any better or different or the same and uh, yeah so I might do another video for that but overall I'm pretty impressed with it and uh, let me know your thoughts and whether it was something maybe that would sway you more towards a Quest Pro see you in the next video cheers bye